What's going on guys, my name is Tefty Teft and welcome to another Planet Destiny gun review. Since patch 1.1.1, shotguns have seen a considerable increase in use. One of the major reasons is because of the massive 100% buff they received for PvE encounters. Prior to the patch, shotguns were just not rewarding to use outside of the Crucible. Going up against majors typically took a full magazine at close range. The risk was not worth the reward. Post patch 1.1.1, shotguns are amazing to use in PvE. It's still risky to go up against high high damage targets, but the reward now exists. You can take down most majors in 2-3 to three critical shots. Today, I'll be going over the perks of the vendor version of Secret Handshake. You can acquire this weapon from the Vanguard Quartermaster located in the ship hangar. It'll set you back 150 Vanguard marks and one commendation. Cosmetically, it's got a Vanguard symbol on the side of the barrel with orange markings. The description reads, Redacted. Let's talk perks first and then get into the pros and cons. First major perk is Grenadier. Kills with this weapon give a bonus 10% towards the cooldown of your grenade. While this isn't a bad perk by any means, it's just not ideal. The better role is to have luck in the chamber or final round. Shot Package Aiming down sights reduces the spread of the projectiles. This is where this shotgun really shines. When you fire a shotgun shell, the bolts have a randomly spread spray pattern for each shot. No two shots are identical. Shot package effectively shrinks the radius of spread so the projectiles have a concentrated area of impact. Now, you do have to aim down sights to take advantage of this, so if you've been exclusively hip firing your shotgun shells, you'll need to adapt. I'll come back to this feature after we get through the rest of the perks. The barrel options offer smart drift control, dramatic increase to stability, penalty to range, accurized ballistics, increased impact, best range, aggressive ballistics, best impact, slightly better range. Since shotguns are highly dependent on range, I recommend specking for best range, specifically accurized ballistics. While smart drift control's stability is appealing, you don't really want to rely on lining up several shots when using a shotgun. You're going for quick, close range kills. High risk, high reward. The second tier of options offers Flared Magwell. Reload this weapon even faster. The reload speed on this shotgun is on the average side, so this perk can help fix that. The only problem is you're giving up the next perk. Hammer Forged. Improved range and accuracy. This perk, coupled with Shot Package or Range Finder, are the two perks I look for in any new shotgun I get. The combo is deadly. High Caliber Rounds. Oversized rounds built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. Adds more camera shake in PvP. Personally, I don't think this perk is very useful to begin with because the shotgun shells deal enough damage already to stagger most enemies. Plus, you're giving up Hammer Forged. One thing that I did not mention from the recent patch is that shotguns also got a range nerf. Essentially, the damage falloff starts quicker. Short range shotguns got hit the most with this nerf, while longer range shotguns like Felwinner's Lie and Judgment 6 didn't notice it much. Which brings me to my preferred setup for this version of Secret Handshake. I'd go with Accurized Ballistics and Hammer Forged. This gives you the absolute max amount of range possible for this shotgun. Damage wise, level 30 enemy body shots score 282 per projectile. Projectiles bundled together for critical hits, the highest I saw was close to 5,000. In PvP, like all other shotguns, one shot in the optimal range will take down a Guardian, most effective when aimed at the head. On the pro side, this shotgun offers some amazing sought after features right from the tower. Shot Package is currently the king of shotgun perks along with Hammer Forged being the next optimal perk to get paired with Shot Package. Having extended range, along with a tighter spread of your projectiles, gives an incredible advantage over other shotguns, even Found Verdict which has more range and impact on paper. No other purchasable shotgun at this time has Shot Package available. It's also got Arc Damage, just like Found Verdict, which is useful against Fallen Captains, Shielded Knights, and Shielded Harpies. And also Night Falls with Arc Damage, but it's probably going to have Light Switch, so I wouldn't get too close to those enemies. The fire rate is relatively fast for a shotgun too, which couples nicely with the 6 shots in the magazine allowing for double and triple kills in the crucible. If you miss your first shot, you have a small window of opportunity for a follow up shot, unlike Felwinner's Lie. On the negative side, Grenadier is not as useful. If it had luck in the chamber of final round, then this shotgun would be ranked even higher in the must haves. The impact and range will never live up to Felwinner's Lie or Judgment 6, but neither of those can be purchased in the tower with Shot Package and Hammer Forged. While Shot Package is amazing, there's a small speculative chance that we could see it nerfed in the future because it's so effective. In all honesty, this shotgun is pretty amazing considering it can be purchased from the tower right now. If you don't have a decent shotgun for the Crucible, then I highly recommend grabbing one of these. I personally think it's better than Found Verdict and Swordbreaker for the Crucible, specifically because of Shot Package and Hammer Forged. 
For PvE, all three shotguns are a treat to use, while Found Verdict has benefits for killing oracles, and Swordbreaker can take down Hive Majors quicker. My verdict is to grab one if you don't have a shotgun with shot package. Skip it if you already have Felwinter's Lie, Judgment 6, or any other shotgun with shot package and hammer forged. And that about does it for this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Planet Destiny if you haven't already, and slap the like button for this video. You could also help me out by subscribing to my channel as well, Tefty Tef Games. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and until next time, peace.